five of on, 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 on it once. I don't know. I don't know if it was all squad, squad, but wow. Hey, what's going on, guys? Adders here. Uh, I'm just gonna go through the uh, character generator for uh, RPG Maker MV. Uh, if you use older version of uh, older versions of RPG Maker, uh, you would normally be using something like uh, Game Character Hub. Uh, with RPG Maker MV, it actually has a built-in character generator, which we're gonna go open that up. Uh, you can open that up by going to Tools, and then scroll down to Character Generator, and then right there you'll be presented with a couple of different options, which is actually quite in depth um, compared to even some of the other stuff I've seen back in the day. Uh, from here, you'll want to choose your character type, uh, male or female. Uh, for this, I'm going to go with a uh, female. Now, uh, face. The beginning, the building block, this is the one thing you want to start off with and uh, get with your character and try to decide. Like some of these, um, like this is probably going to be used on an older character. Just because it's got the wrinkles and stuff like that. Maybe someone who's out in the sun a lot. Let's see here, hair color. Let's say we want to make someone who's a little bit older. You know, we would go with uh, something like this as far as hair color. And then rear hair. Um, as you can see, I'll show you right here so you can see exactly what goes into it as far as uh, new characters. You'll uh, you start out with your face, you get your face going, then you'll go here, it's like front hair. That's what's going to be the most um, prominent. And you get quite a few options here. So you can mix and match and you can make all kinds of different characters. Like say I wanted that for the front. See it just like that right there. But the only thing is you don't want to go too crazy with the hair. As far as the hair color goes. You don't want to go too crazy because then it, you know, it might not mix. So you know, if you wanted to do, you know, hair in the front, you know, and business in the back, or no business in the back, you could do that. Um, after going through and just, you know, customizing each thing, you to make an elf. You can make an elf. Um, but here, as you can see, there's several different um, presets for each one. Uh, all different eyebrows. But some hairstyles are going to cover up the eyebrows, at least, you know, different poses. Let's see here. And then you got noses. Um, you can change the nose around. Get the nose all different. You want a big nose, you want a teeny nose. Then you got mouth. That one right there. Um, is it that one or. Yeah, it's this one right here. This one is basically, if you saw in Game Character Hub, if you ever used it before, there's these teeth in the Game Character Hub that basically, they remind me of like hillbilly teeth. <laughs> because they're like way out there. But yeah, uh, let's see, facial mark, um, you can add like freckles, scars, uh, blushing, football, dark eyes, clown face. You got a couple of different things here that you can add. Oh, and then you get beast ears. Yeah, this is so much more than uh, I remember with the uh, game character hub. They have a, this is a lot more detail going into it. For all I know, though, this could be, you know, the work of the person that uh, actually did that. But I don't know. Don't, don't hold me to that. <laughs> don't exactly know. But as far as clothing goes... Um, you got all kinds of different options here. You can change the color. Say so you want to change subcolor, which I'm not sure exactly. Okay, there's the subcolor. That little stuff like that. It allows you to uh, really go through and <coughs> excuse me, change all the different colors. Want to add a cloak? 
Maybe a scarf. You gotta make sure though, because some things just don't line up. Like right here. Um, as you can see over here, it's just not lining up and it's looking like it's you know, clashing with the uh, top there. So it may work down here, but as far as your character portrait goes, it just doesn't look like it works. So there's all kinds of stuff you can add. You know, as you can see here, crazy ninja, bear, elf. <laughs> Want to add some glasses? Give, give, give your character some more character. Oh, I just wish they would add added like some steampunk goggles. That would have made this perfect. That really would have. But yeah, um, and right here, uh, this is your uh, randomize. You can uh, randomize character. Right here, save settings. This is just like your preset settings that you want to save them. Um, I'm going to put this as female bear ninja warrior. Say that. Okay. Now, paste image. Now, this is where you're going to actually export. Um, the character. Now you'll want to, uh, you have to go through and export everything separately just like Game Character Hub. So what you'll do is you'll go to export and then this is where all the face files are. So you want to give your character a name. So this one is female, bear, ninja, warrior. Uh, make sure to put face on the end. Or if you want to do underscore F or however you want to uh, do that. Yeah, and you can also import. Say you wanted to um, go into one of these and, you know, replace. You could. Or even import one of them. You could do that too. And it's the same thing. You know, you export um, your character as far as walk animations. So female, bear. Ninja Warrior Walk. Go ahead and export that. And then you got your damage. Female. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to uh, get that off. That way I'm not typing so much. DMG for damage. Okay. And then you got your battlers. That's what you're going to see whenever you go to battle. Um, it's uh, basically the sideways view of it. Um, all your it's basically a combination of everything, is what it looks like. Uh, battler. Okay, and from there you've got uh, your character generated. And if you want to, you can always go like this. Um, if you want to get a random character, like if you just can't possibly think of a character. You can do like this, and you can get some pretty interesting uh, characters out of this. Alright, well, I thank you for watching, and uh, look forward to the next one. I'm going to uh, go over some different stuff. Thanks. See ya.